Hey everyone, in today's YouTube video, I'm gonna show you how to grow a YouTube channel. And it doesn't matter if you already have some subscribers or if you're starting from scratch, the process is pretty much the same. Now, when people think of growth on a YouTube channel, they typically think of the number of subscribers that they have or they're getting. But if you really think about it, subscribers come from the views that you get on YouTube or from the search on Google that recommends YouTube videos. That's where the views come from. And then the subscribers are the results of those views. So typically, if you do a good job on your videos, people will subscribe as a result. So when you're starting out or if you're stuck or if you're not growing past 1,000 or 10,000 subscribers, where you should really focus is views. So let's focus there in this video. And I wanna show you five different ways that you could get views on YouTube, really the five buckets of YouTube views. The very first one is search, right? We all know that YouTube is the second search engine in the world, right after Google, the company that owns YouTube. So even YouTube videos show up on Google search. So search should be your priority if you're starting out and you're not really getting subscribers because you need to get views and one of the easiest way to get views is by being discovered in YouTube search. Now I'll discuss search more in a little bit as we go through this video, but the second option is suggested. Now suggested means YouTube is recommending your videos alongside of other videos or after other videos, or it could show up on your homepage randomly because YouTube is deciding based on the algorithm that you're gonna like this video, so it's gonna pop up on your homepage, right? So multiple different ways where suggested video come into play. I'll explain more on those in a little bit too. The third is the views that come from your subscribers. So as long as you do a good job on your videos, people will subscribe after they watch a video, a small, small portion of those people. And as your subscribe numbers grow, those people are going to come back to your new videos, right? So that's gonna get you more views. And this is kind of a snowball effect. And probably the best way to get views, the most valuable views on YouTube, are from your subscribers. But I'm not focusing on it here because that takes a long time to build a subscriber base where 10, 20% of those people keep coming back to your new videos. But ultimately, that's what you want. You want about 20% of people, which is the average, to come back to your new videos after they subscribe to your channel. And I'm getting really close to finishing the YouTube course that I've been working on for the last few months. So I have a link in the description to the email list so you could be notified when it's released. Basically, I wanted to make a very, very clear way of going from zero to 100,000 subscribers, kind of a very clear roadmap and then also explain all the different ways you should monetize a YouTube channel because there's so much more than what YouTube pays you through the AdSense program. So I have that all laid out and I especially jump in in a section in that course of teaching business owners how to utilize YouTube to grow their business as they're growing their YouTube channel. Really two powerful forces that could come together there. So that's the link below if you wanna sign up and then be notified when it's ready. Now, number four is through promotions. And there's multiple different ways where you could utilize promotions to grow a YouTube channel and get more views. One of those is running YouTube ads to get views to your channel. Now, this is a more expensive option and it is a little bit tricky if you're new, so I'm not gonna cover it in this video. I'll make a dedicated video on promotions. Another way you could do promotions for free is utilizing other platforms like Facebook or Reddit or TikTok to kind of tease your videos, grow a following there, which is sometimes easier on platforms like TikTok, and get them to click through to your YouTube video. So promotion is kind of two ways. You have paid promotion, running YouTube ads, and then getting people to discover your channel that way. Again, it's a costly option, or you could do a free option of utilizing other platforms like Facebook and TikTok. And lastly, you have collaborations, and this works really well, but it's really hard to do when you're starting out. But ultimately what it means is, you reach out to another YouTube channel that is doing the same type of videos as you, and then you work on a video with them and they work on a video with you. One of those videos goes on your channel, one goes on their channel. It's a way to kind of cross promote your channels to each other's audience. Now this is something I do later on, typically after 5,000 or even 10,000 subscribers, because if you're new, no one's going to want to collaborate with you. Even if they're new, 
even if they do it, you're not really uh, attracting many, many views because both of you don't have enough subscribers to do that. So this is something to keep in mind later and do your research when you actually start getting followers and getting subscribers, you really want to focus on collaboration later down the road. So now that I mentioned all five, let's focus on two of them that are going to get you the best results, especially if you're starting out on YouTube or if you don't already have 10,000 or more subscribers. And the first one of those is creating content for search. Now it's really, really important that you don't just create content for search. Okay. You have to have a content strategy where some of your content is for search. For example, how to videos like I'm making here that will get discovered in search, but then you want to also create content for your audience and really focus on a specific topic. Okay. So I made this mistake early on where I was making home improvement videos and relationship advice all on the umbrella of a how to under the same channel that just did not work. So I focused more on social media videos and technology videos. And then YouTube started recommending me on suggested and on search. But at first it was not doing that because I just didn't have in, uh, enough narrowed down focus on this channel. Let me just quickly show you this search bar right here. This is what we want people to use to find our content. And in order to do that, we need to make titles that are easily discoverable in search. How do I find that out right here? This is my secret weapon to do that. It's called TubeBuddy. You could get it from my link in the description below It's free. And it's a plugin that you could click on and you get this as a result. And it has paid upgrades, which I have the paid upgrade because it gives me some really powerful options. The free one doesn't, but get started for free. And then you could upgrade later as well. But right here, keyword explorer, if you click this and let's say right now, Bitcoin is popular. So if you want to make content on Bitcoin, look at this, press explore, it's going to give you a ton of different content and it's going to let you know based on your channel and the type of content you've made, are you going to rank for this video in search or are you not? I am definitely not because this is not the type of content I make. I make how to content. So let me try that. How to buy Bitcoin, for example, I'll search for that. And then you could see a bunch of different results that I could use as my title, right? So I could make one, two, three, four videos just from these four search results. But again, poor because I don't make Bitcoin videos. I've made one or two, but I'm not the expert in this topic. So YouTube is not going to recommend that video or rank it in search. So this is how I typically pick my topics for videos. I use Keyword Explorer, see if I'm going to rank. And then if I'm going to rank, if I have maybe 50% or sometimes I have 80 or 90%, if I'm making YouTube videos like this, or if I'm making Instagram videos or tech videos, I do very well there. So that's what I do to find out the topic of a video I should make based on my chance of success. Now, if you've never made a video, don't worry so much about the keyword explorer, but use it to find topics to make videos about. But don't worry about that percentage point, because if you're new, you have to actually specialize in something before you're going to get a higher number. OK, so again, I mention this all the time in all my videos, but as much as you can specialize in what your YouTube channel is about early on, I heard this recommendation from the best YouTubers out there that teach YouTube and I ignored it because I thought I knew better and I could make it work and I did not know better. And that is one of the most solid, solid piece of advice you could get on YouTube. So once you get TubeBuddy, by the way, too, you should kind of go to different channels. And then when you go to the homepage of different channels, you could see something called Channelytics. This is just on my channel that you're watching right now. But really take a look at this right here. Views in the last 30 days. This is really the number that you're really wanting to increase because this equals money and this equals subscribers. OK, so from 3.3 million views, you could click down to see how many subscribers came from that. So about 12,500 subscribers from 3.3 million views. Now, that's not very good because I still need to focus this channel more on the content. And the early content I made in the first few years have still hurt me on getting the subscribers to subscribe to this channel because it's not very specific. But if you are very specific, this number should look maybe twice or three times better than mine. So 
if you get to 3 million views, you should probably get, be getting closer to 30,000 subscribers and not 12. And you could see, I'm really, really focused on making sure in the last 30 days I have 30 videos because this is a daily channel. I upload new videos every single day, so I wanna make sure I stick with that. So when you're starting a YouTube channel, you should do the same. You should really stick with the schedule that you set for yourself. It doesn't have to be this crazy, but if you set up a weekly schedule, make sure you stay on top of that. So go to some of your favorite channels that you inspire to be like after you get to buddy. Look at how many views they have in their lifetime. This is really the number I care about the most. See how many videos it took to get to that point and see how many videos they're uploading every 30 days. Because this number is really what you care about because if you keep this up and this increases every month, your subscriber counts are gonna grow as well. And the more focused you are, what ends up happening is you get most of your views later on, year two, year three, from your subscribers. My channel to this day doesn't do that because I spent two years having zero focus on this channel whatsoever. I still make how-to videos on different topics, but it's still trying to more focus on tech and social media. And I definitely don't do, don't do home improvement on this channel or cooking or everything I was doing early on on this channel, okay? So it's really narrowed down. But if you're starting out and you hear this advice now, pick a very specific niche, focus on it, make search-based content. Then when you grow, your views will come from subscribers and it will snowball. So after search, after you have a search content strategy, your next strategy should be try to get YouTube to suggest you alongside of other videos, okay? So if you've ever been on YouTube, there's a sidebar there that shows you suggested video. The homepage are based on suggestions and some are based on your subscriptions, but not all. You'll see suggested video on channels you've never subscribed to before. And sometimes when a video ends, another one plays that's another form of suggestion. So how do you get suggested by YouTube to other viewers on YouTube? Well, the ultimate way to do this is once you have a very focused niche, find multiple channels that are like you, okay? That make the same type of content. Graham Stephan is actually a really good example of a finance channel that you could look at. And then there are multiple other channels that grew on the back of that channel by making similar content. For example, he made a video on why I'm leaving California based on what was popular, based on Joe Rogan leaving California, okay? He's not on YouTube, but Graham Stephan found that trending topic, made a video. His video went viral, multiple million views, and then other YouTubers made videos on the same trend. Now, they're not copying the exact same video, obviously. They're making their own video with the same concept and title, but with their own spin on it. So it's not really technically taking someone else's content if you could put your own spin on it and add value. So that's one way to get suggested on the back of other videos that are very similar, okay? So you could do that. And another way to do it is you could go to the trending page of YouTube, look at what's trending, and if it fits your niche, if it fits the type of video you make, you could again put your own spin and make a video similar to what's already on the training page. This also could help you get on the training page, which really will explode your channel. But in the four years I've been doing YouTube, I've only hit the training page one time. Okay, and that's because I picked a topic that was trending at that time, made a video on it, happened to be the first one to make that video, and I hit number one in search, and that day the video really skyrocketed. But it's really, really hard, but Hitting the trending page is not the ultimate goal here. That's a bonus if it happens. What the ultimate goal is, is for YouTube to suggest that content to other people. Okay, so just to recap, get to buddy, use the keyword explorer, figure out your search topics, make sure they're narrow enough that they're in a very specific niche because if they're not, it's gonna take you many years to rank any videos in search. Once you do that, you will eventually rank in search on YouTube and on Google. Your videos will rank there under the video tab. Then once that starts rolling in, or as that's rolling in, you could start working on suggest a video by seeing what's trending and what you can make videos on, on videos that are already going viral. And then once that starts happening, you could focus on number three, four, and five, which is 
make content that your subscribers already like. So kind of get them to keep coming back to your channel because that's really ultimately where you want your views to come from, from your subscribers. Then you could work with promotions, kind of growing different platforms and trying to get people to YouTube from there. And then finally, you could start collaborating with other people to kind of expose yourself to their audience. And then they could do the same with you. It's a win-win for both of you. And then you could start growing. So I'll make separate videos about those details as you continue this journey. But this, I really wanted to focus on how to get more views on YouTube so you could grow a bit faster. Again, I'm finishing up the course soon. So if you want a very straightforward, detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to go from nothing to 100,000 subscribers and more, and how to specially monetize your YouTube channel the right way beyond just Google AdSense, make sure you sign up for that and I will let you know as soon as it's released. Thanks so much for all your time. I hope you found it useful. I'll see you next time.